Hey guys, it's Comcali with Studios here, back with another video talking about Six Flags. I know it may seem like all I talk about on this channel is Six Flags, but there really is so much to always talk about as there's constant changes, constant interesting things happening within the company, and this one probably affects a lot of you viewers. Obviously, Six Flags has long discontinued the now known as Legacy Memberships. These memberships are also known as the Gold Plus, Platinum, Diamond, Diamond Elite, that were sold pre-2022. These memberships were discontinued once Salim Basul became CEO and started rolling out his new pass options. So they did allow those who had already purchased legacy memberships to keep them and they are currently still valid in 2023. And according to my interview with Salim back in October of 2022, they will remain valid as they want to honor their legacy memberships and keep those people coming to the parks, which is really, really nice. However, there has been a pretty major shakeup coming with the start of 2023 that you may or may not have noticed. If you didn't notice it, you're definitely going to notice it now. I noticed this a few days ago when I just decided to look inside my Six Flags app and notice that my sister and my mother's memberships were downgraded. For those of you unaware, if you had purchased your membership pre-COVID, you were given a special set of benefits. For example, if you had a Gold Plus membership that you had purchased and started paying for prior to COVID-19 and the shutdown of the Six Flags parks, your membership was kept and you were even bumped up a tier. So you went from Gold Plus to Platinum and you got all the benefits of Platinum for the same price as Gold. This happened to all membership tiers across the board, going all the way up to Diamond Elite where if you had Diamond Elite pre-COVID, you were bumped up to a brand new tier that was not purchasable called Diamond Elite VIP, which gave you even crazier perks, some of the craziest perks I've ever seen offered at an amusement park for a pass. The amount of stuff you get with Diamond Elite VIP is absolutely insane. But without getting sidetracked, all of these upgrades have now been completely done away with at the start of 2023, except for one. That one is the Diamond Elite to Diamond Elite VIP upgrade. That upgrade is still in place. So we had the Diamond Elite membership pre-COVID, we were upgraded to Diamond Elite VIP post-COVID, and we still have that membership tier. But those of you who had lower membership tiers, you have been downgraded. So if you had Platinum, you now have Gold Plus. If you had Diamond, you now have Platinum. If you had Diamond Elite, you now have Diamond because that is what you originally purchased. And the pass price has not changed, so you are still paying the same, now just for less benefits in a lower membership tier, of course, other than those who have the Diamond Elite VIP membership. Now, what exactly does this mean? Honestly, I think we all kind of saw this coming. That was really just sort of something to give back to the memberships and the members who decided to pay through COVID and support the company. That was all done just to really say thank you and i think the thank you has run its course as we approach march of 2023 which will mark the three year anniversary since the start of the pandemic which that's pretty crazy i don't know if you guys noticed that but that's wild to me anyways though you will still be able to visit six flags no matter what as long as you continue paying for this membership i know i've emphasized this throughout the videos but there had never been an actual change to the legacy memberships they always remained exactly the same with no benefit change at all however now there has been a slight shakeup, so keep that in mind of course these legacy memberships are still not able to be purchased so essentially you are grandfathered in if you purchased it pre saleem removing them you're good you don't have to cancel it, you don't have to do anything. As long as you continue paying, you will have those same awesome benefits and still be able to use that membership. Now, this whole situation has kind of had me wondering if Diamond Elite even has any members left. So when you think about it, those who purchased pre-COVID, well really it was pre-October of 2020, I wanna say. It was a really weird time where they allowed you to have the Diamond Elite VIP. But those of you who purchased before that, all have Diamond Elite VIP now. So there's only a handful of people who actually still have Diamond Elite. It's those people who bought a Diamond Elite membership during 2021. So those people may or may not have decided to renew and keep paying for these memberships, which means there's probably a very small handful of people that still have a technically Diamond Elite membership. So if you're one of those people who have a Diamond Elite membership, if I'm not incorrect, you're pretty rare, all things considered, which is cool, I guess. 
But of course, like I've said numerous times, if you don't have a membership, you can't get a membership. You have to pick from one of their new pass options, which I've gone over in a video which will be linked down below if you guys need help picking which pass type is the best for you. I will warn you, they are definitely much more expensive than the legacy memberships are. I know many people have been worried that Six Flags is looking to phase out the memberships. That way you will have to purchase one of their new, more expensive passes to become a part of their more premiumization strategy in order to make you pay more ultimately for there to be less people inside of Six Flags parks. However, I certainly do not think that this will be the case. I think Six Flags and corporate, they know that if they decide to all out, phase out, and cancel these legacy memberships and make them invalid, they will have a humongous customer base who just simply will not return. They will not pay the much higher prices for the new season passes than what they were paying for the legacy memberships which in my opinion are really cheap all things considered when you think about the benefits that you get especially when combined with dining and having just an overall fully loaded membership you get an absolutely insane value at six flags parks now keep in mind it is possible that certain things about the membership benefits will change as time goes on for example they have discontinued the membership rewards program they will not be really counting up points you still can earn points and you still can redeem those points but there have been a lot of offers taken away from that portal if i remember correctly you used to be able to get like a membership drawstring bag that's gone and i believe there may have been something to do with free tickets that you could have gotten by redeeming points that may also be gone i haven't checked in a while though and overall the membership portal is very buggy and kind of glitchy in my opinion it's a very slow website to use and i don't see them updating it since as far as i know the new passes don't use the same portal unless they do if they do please let me know in the comment section down below but that membership site probably will stay the same for a while which is unfortunate because it could definitely use some updating and just maybe even a better server i'm not a computer tech so i don't know exactly how all this works but Overall, I think definitely go check on your membership, make sure that what I said aligns correctly, and if it doesn't, leave me a comment down below and I will try to help you and figure out what your situation is to the best of my ability. Keep in mind though, like I said, certain things like say dining options could be limited or changed. We saw that in 2022 where Fat Burger at Six Flags Great Adventure initially was on the dining plan and then was removed and then was brought back. So they're definitely willing to do certain things like that to limit or enhance the dining options. And that includes both the new dining pass and the old legacy member dining plan. So keep that in mind. But if you guys enjoyed this update video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more updates coming soon to Hollywood Studios. Goodbye, guys.